So replicated has been great. Uh, it's so why use replicated? So build versus buy, right? That's what it comes down to. And as a developer, uh, you think I thought uh, we could just build whatever. Like we'll, we're a technical company. We hire great engineers. Let's just build stuff. But uh, you, you want to work on your core competency. And as you grow as a company, it, it if you could buy something from a vendor that you feel like the work is quality and their culture is quality, they're gonna be working on features to improve that while you're working on features to improve your core business. And that's really attractive. And so, you know, maybe it's a maturity thing, I don't know, but we're super in the buy camp now. It's like if it's not directly related to our core business and we think it's good software, then we would rather buy it. Uh, we'll pay for it. And we need to pay for it because like Replicate is a good example. It's how we deliver some of our enterprise software. And so like we need to pay for it because if it breaks, then our software is broken. And so like we need support and things like that. I don't know the details of our contract, but I'm sure that was, yeah, I, it was funny because actually I remember when we were negotiating the contract and I didn't look at the contract, but I remember we were negotiating it and I saw some of the red lines and I was like, we've turned into the company I hated. <laughs> like, as a founder, I was like we've turned into that, that company. Um, but I get why it's there now, <laughs> I understand. Uh, but yeah, we use it to deliver our on-premise Terraform experience, Terraform Enterprise experience. And we had our own installer before. And we had three people, three full-time people working on the installer. We had it deployed in AWS. And we had a lot of, because of our heterogeneous nature of the company, we had customers that wanted Oracle. We had customers that wanted Azure. We had all this other requirements. We had customers that wanted specifically to run it on Kubernetes. Um, there was all this stuff. and. So we're like, okay, we'll build it. We started planning out, you know, the, the, the arrogance I think we had was that, you know, we built Terraform, we built Packer, we built all these tools that like theoretically you just glue together and you get a non-prem installer, theoretically. <laughs> Turns out there's like a lot more to it, especially when you get to stuff like upgrades and things like that. Um, and it, the, the, the requirements were endless. And so that, I think we took a step back when it became the, it's almost embarrassing the level of pain it took before we stepped back from that hubris or whatever it is to be like, we need to buy this. Because it, it came to the point where it was like, not existential, the company wouldn't have like ceased to exist, but we, were, we would be leaving a ton of money on the table if we didn't deliver Azure Oracle, well, oh, yeah, Azure Oracle, Kubernetes, like all in six weeks. Yeah. If we didn't deliver all of it, then, and, and we, we had a plan that was like two months per platform, optimistically, so it was like six months or six weeks if we can negotiate this deal and get it going. And I think one of our engineers showed a POC of replicated working like that. Yeah. And it's like two days to get it working. And I was, yeah, that was all it took. It's like, okay, yeah, we're out of this game. And now it's nice because we use replicated. Um, we, uh, we, those three engineers, you know, some of them work with replicated a lot, but they focus on other uh, things making it better. And of course we ran through like all this, you know, accounting and stuff to figure out the build versus buy costs and, and it was way better to buy.